In this video, parents of football players will learn the two most important things they can do to help their young players succeed. You know, there's been numerous studies conducted to find out what highly successful football players have in common. Now, besides the obvious, talent and hard work, a number of surprising conclusions have come to light. And at the top of the list are how much support the athlete had at home. And of course, the high quality of the coaching, which falls under the support. Now, I work with young athletes every day in my office, and I always start out by telling the parent, how impressed I am by their recognition of the value of mental training. You know, just by bringing their young athlete to someone like me to learn this kind of stuff. You know, winning championships, scholarships, and even making a pro team, it's usually a team effort. The athlete, the family, the coaches. The NFL is filled with stories of athletes who were blessed with tons of talent, moved up the ranks only to self-destruct before reaching their full potential or even before that in college because they didn't have that kind of support at home, didn't learn how to be comfortable in their own skin. And I get asked by parents regularly, what's the best thing I can do to help a young football player's mental preparation? I gotta tell you. There's no cookie cutter mold for this. Every athlete's different. You must recognize that they're not little versions of you. And the kind of parental support offered to one athlete can be exactly the wrong thing that is, works well for a different athlete. But there are some universal principles that most, if not all, young football players can benefit from. And here they are. One, goal setting for athletes. This is a proven tactic This goes for any age group. Learning the basics of committing yourself to a goal is a very powerful life skill in addition to a motivator to put in the work that is necessary to succeed in football. Parents and coaches are invaluable for assisting young players to move towards their goals step at a time, lay it out, pick goals that are specific and measurable, you know, like, Lead the team in tackles by the end of the season. Make the high school varsity team next season. Complete better than 50% of my passes all year. Goals need to be tough, but doable. Don't make them too easy or impossible to achieve. And they should have a time deadline. Finally, have the kid write them down in their own words, licking them off and to help them get fired up about it and what they can get when, what is the, what's the benefit to them when they achieve that goal and encourage the feelings that they'll get from achieving that goal. You know, it's the, the next thing is the easiest thing to do and probably the best thing a parent or coach can do, you know, is to boost confidence and morale. But how to actually do it is another thing. You know, once at a blue moon telling the athlete they're good, that's not going to cut it. That's not enough. Parents and coaches, they need to make it a point to communicate six or more positive, encouraging statements to every critical one. Six to one, minimum. And this ratio comes from a study that tracked measurable performance in a business environment for adults. And so it's possible that an even higher ratio is recommended for kids. Don't be afraid to offer criticism here and there. Constructive criticism um, as long as it's done at the right time in the right place and it's balanced out with six or more to one. Because kids have told me in my office hundreds of times they appreciate it when it comes across positively. And let your athlete make the most of his or her own decisions and how to do things and take your advice. I'm constantly asked by parents how much to push a child. Sorry, there's no definitive answer. But the extremes of micromanaging and not on one hand and not caring at all, those don't work for sure. Now to find out the sweet spot between those extremes, are you ready? Big mystery here. Just ask them. Son, what's the best way for me to support you? You can offer suggestions, let them pick if they say I don't know. Be an active listener about it when an athlete has a disappointing or, or poor performance. You know, we always want to as parents just tell them how that problem needs to be fixed. <laughs> Often the best course of action is simply acknowledge the athlete if they express the desire to talk in the first place, like right after a game. Many athletes do better by working it out themselves, believe it or not. 
you can pick up a clue that they might need help if after a week or more they're still sulking about a problem. Even then, you still want to ask if he wants to talk about it. Now, if your kid violates you know, family values with certain destructive behaviors, then certainly you step in and you don't need any permission for that. Sometimes it's a really fine line that we as parents walk, but all you really need to know here is for you to model what you want to see your kid to do. That's the most important way you can support your kid. I've witnessed some, some coaches with very little sports qualifications do amazing things in youth sports by following the, this simple rule. And I'm most impressed when I talk to a coach you know, who wants me to come in and, and give a mental training workshop or talk for his team or league. And always remember this. Only about 2% of high school athletes become good enough to get an athletic scholarship. And most of those are partial scholarships, not full rides. So you need to understand, parents, the main reason for sports participation, for playing football at any age, is to learn life skills. And when they learn those life skills with your support, whoops, they play better. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. You're just learning life skills. Oops, got a scholarship. Sorry, you got into the pros. I, I like to make fun in my office like that when talking to parents. And 100% of football players and all athletes can learn life skills, whether they get to the pros or not. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got more coming your way. Let's do this. I'm Craig Single, the Mental Toughness Trainer.